Hey everybody, I'm back today with another Kickstarter review and today it's No Fish, designed by Sean Carroll. This game plays from 2 to 6 players, plays in around the 15 minutes mark from ages 5 plus. It is, as it claims on the box, a back to front guessing game of aquatic proportions. Um, it has that kind of, uh, a lot of people call it the Hanabi mechanic where you hold your cards but you can't see what you've got but you can see what everyone else has and you're trying to guess cards out of your own hand. Um, and while there's like a couple of cards that have special abilities to them as well, like if you can guess a card out of your hand first, um, when you run out of cards, the, you are the winner. So the first person to completely run out of cards is the is the winner of the game. Hence why it only lasts the 15 minute mark. And that, the 15 minutes is, it, it's quite long really if you're only playing at sort of three or four player I would say, but certainly the five to six, 15 minutes is a, is a, is a good time scale. Anyway, I think I may be talking too much about it, ruining the surprise a little. So let's go and take a look at Sean Carroll's No Fish. Okay guys, I thought because it was quite a small tuck box, I thought I'd just give you a quick preview of the little tuck box that's coming in. And you'll see the artwork's pretty neat. So here, as it says, gives you all the information, two to six players, 15 minutes, no fish. A back to front guessing game of aquatic proportions. Let's go and take a look what you get inside. Two rules cards, four different kinds of special fish. So a lionfish, a starfish, a toadfish, and a flying fish. Now these are all special cards that have special abilities, but I'll tell you what the special abilities are in one minute. Okay, you'll also get four different types of fish from numbers one to 10. So there's clownfish, dogfish, goldfish, and rainbowfish. Okay, at the start of the game, you will take out four cards from the fish deck and put them to the side, and that just stops card counters. After that, you'll deal seven cards to each player. Now, each player is not allowed to look at their hand, so each player holds their hand as such, so they can just see the back. Hence what I was talking about earlier when I said that Hanabi mechanism. Now, on your turn, all you need to do is guess a card. Now, you don't need to say the suit, so you don't need to say, do I have any two of goldfish? You just need to say, do I have any twos? And if I had any twos, it would be up to the other players that I was playing with to release them for me. Now, obviously, you're counting on honesty in this game, but, uh, you know, I feel when you're playing all board games, honesty is always the best policy. So, uh, when you guess a number, say for example, as I said, now... In the game, you would hold them this way so you cannot see the cards that you're doing. But for the purposes of the video, I'm going to show you this. Okay, so, say on my turn... Wow, I got a pretty random hand there with three different special fish. So, say on my turn, I said, hmm, I'll guess a three. Then notice I have no threes in my hand. Now, everyone else would need to say, no fish. <laughs> Get it? That's the name. Now, after that, uh, it would be... But because I guessed incorrectly, I then need to take a penalty card. A penalty card is taking a card, I still don't look at it, remember, bearing in mind that I wouldn't be looking at these cards, and I put it into my hand, facing that way again. And your hand can become quite big if you keep getting it wrong. However, say when it came back round to me, and I said, 7. Now, that would release both these 7s from my hand. And they would just go into the discard pile. Now, after you guessed correctly, you then get a free guess... And that would give you no penalty, so that means if I guessed and got it wrong, I wouldn't need to draw a card from the fish deck. Or, I can draw one of these cards. Well, I say these cards, there's only three here. And bear in mind there is the toadfish as well, but I'll show, you, I'll show you all four in one second. Now, I can draw one of these cards from an opposing player's hand and use the special ability attached. So let's go and have a look at those special abilities for those cards. Okay, so the Toadfish special ability is make another player draw two fish cards from the fish deck. Okay, so the Starfish special ability is choose any fish type and all fish of that type are released from every player's hand. Now that can include your Clownfish, your Dogfish, your Goldfish and your Rainbowfish also, not just your special cards. The Lionfish, which is probably my personal favourite, means that you can select two fish in your hand to look at and then return them to your hand and then draw one card from the fish deck. So that can be really handy when you're getting low on cards. And last but certainly not least is the Flying Fish. Without looking at your fish, select one fish and release it. The matching numbers slash special fish are then released from every player's hand, so that would be up to you to do. And that's basically all the mechanics to No Fish. All you need to do is get rid of all the cards in your hand, and the first person with no fish left is the winner. Let's go and take a look about what I thought of no fish. So guys, what did I think of no fish? Uh, really fun, 
super light, super easy to teach filler game. Um, this is one, again, with the size of it, you could carry it about anywhere with you, take it to any one of your game days, take it to any one of your dinner meets, family days, pub meetups, whatever other weird stuff people like to get up to. In their own, I mean, I never said any weird stuff, but whatever weird stuff people like to get up to in their own time, um, you could just carry this about with you and whip it out anywhere. It's a super fun little filler game. That's my opinion on No Fish. Guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also check this game out on Kickstarter right now. All links will be in the description below. Other than that, I hope everyone's having an awesome week and I'll catch you guys later. This episode was sponsored by Gameslore, the UK's largest specialist games retailer, which can be found at gameslore.com. Mm-hmm.